That area was really uh, very industrial, right below the power plants. Two buildings, uh, just prefab buildings uh, at that site, and uh, classrooms uh, scattered in those buildings, as well as the library and the Learning Materials Center. Uh, but there were also temporary buildings that were added outside uh, to accommodate uh, classrooms there. And, and you have to remember, it was not only offered liberal arts courses, but we were a vocational technical school with auto mechanics, welding, electronics, and those things. So it was quite a blend. It was rough. It was kind of like, a, a, well, it's, a, it's pretty much a, a warehouse district, and faculty used to call it the Quonset Hut campus. Industrial, you know, so it was a, a more industrial look to it. And of course, being right across from public service out there. Oh, when I started, uh... It was uh, like in two long uh, steel buildings. I actually uh, uh, started teaching some classes at uh, the Merchandise Mart because the, uh, and which was at 58th, and uh, at that time uh, we were having to expand because of the limited space. And then I think it was like a year or two later, they got some trailers come in and they put desks in them. And so we taught in the, the modulars. But you know what? It was a wonderful place inside. Um, it was vibrant and alive. I, we didn't have the word diversity in those days. We just had the diversity. There was a kind of unity that you would expect. Um, it was like, a, it was a small town atmosphere. I can say that. And we were still, brand new as an educational entity in Colorado. As we were pioneers and, and we felt like that. We were breaking new ground in education in Colorado. <laughs>